This is Jose Trujillo, I'm a fine art painter. I'm coming to you from a corner of my art studio. And today I want to talk to you about something that occurs to just about every artist, anyone dealing with, with canvases. And this is a, it's, it's a very common thing, right? What happens is that you'll leave your, your, your canvas sitting somewhere, uh, maybe leaned up against another canvas or with some pressure on the canvas itself, and then something like this happens, right? You see this? Let me see if you can see it. It's uh, kind of like a bubble, an indentation, right? Uh, I'm going to put some pressure on my finger right here to see if you can see it a little bit more. There you go. So this is usually because it was leaned in a corner, maybe to a, next to another canvas, right? I'm talking about stretch canvas, of course, right? And maybe this was happening. Let me see if you can see it right there. There you go. So how do you fix that? Very simple, okay? I'm going to give you some, uh, a little quick tip right here. Very simple. Simply, don't panic. Whether it's painted or not, get a wet rag. And on the back, just wet the back where the indentation is. That simple. Just wet the back. Uh, and what that's going to do, it's because it's, it's canvas, right? Stretch canvas. Look, voila, where is it? Nowhere. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's, it's also really cool uh, if you get a canvas and it's also, you get it from the store and it's a little bit saggy. Uh, you know, it's kind of wobbly. It's also really cool to get it and with a, you know, with a wet rag, you don't have to do a brush, right? But sometimes some people like to do it with a brush. It doesn't matter. I mean, some people do it with a spray bottle, you know. <laughs> Put your comments below how you do it. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, you guys can read uh, the different types of, of uh, techniques artists use. Sometimes I, I, I get a brush like this. I'll dip it in water and I'll do a cross, right? And a cross, you know, behind the canvas, of course, right? Because the front side has a, a gesso, so... So it's not going to absorb it as well as the back. The back is un, is uncoated, right? So because it's it's uh, it's fabric, what it does is that it's shrinking, right? But it really just it makes it as tight as a drum. That's really what it does, you know. And you can see here indentation um, because there was no water else applied. Sometimes you can see a little bit more in the corners, like like how the canvas shrinks. It'll get back. So don't panic about that. It'll get back. If it doesn't, just apply it a little bit more water or do a cross, you know. But there's nothing to panic. It's, it's, it's just, it's cloth, right? So I'll leave you with that. Next time you, you find one of those, you, you put some pressure on the canvas. You put some books or whatever. Or your mom walked into the studio. I mean, you wouldn't put books. And, you know, they move stuff around. All of a sudden, something heavy on top of one of your canvases or, or a painting or whatever. Don't panic. Get it? It's usually going to be really wobbly. <laughs> Get your wet uh, uh, brush or wet rag and just do something like that. You know? Just make sure that it applies sufficient water. And there you have it. That'll fix the problem. I'll leave you with that. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. And here is something that, you know, it's a, it's a really simple tip that can really... Uh, Make a headache go away. <laughs> Till next time. Bye-bye.